Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom and you're watching SPRPicks.com. Leicester City and West Ham clash on Saturday. Now, we've got good odds on the three-way line, but if the match is as close as it's predicted to be, is it too tough to predict the winner? Well, William Hills in play radio host Lee Phelps joins us now to preview the match and at the end, he's going to give us a top tip. Now, are you expecting a close match here, Lee? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you've got one team in Leicester who are desperate for points. And you've got West Ham, who it seems to me the season's over. Um, and I, was, I must admit, I was tempted to go with the Leicester win. But I just, I've done it too many times this season, haven't I? I, I, I was favouring Leicester early in the season. They got a couple of results, but they've been so poor. Um, West Ham's away form isn't very good. This is a real good opportunity for Leicester, but I'm not sure I can trust them. I'm, I'm really not sure. Yeah. Um, I think I'd probably go for the draw out of the three results, I think. I think it will be tight and, and tight in terms of goals as well. OK, interesting. You're going for the draw here. Uh, that's price 3.3. Uh, West Ham uh, is 3.1. And then Leicester uh, match favourites 2.38. Uh, but interesting, West Ham, uh, West Ham have beaten Leicester in seven of their last matches there. So surely we're looking at a West Ham win. Well, I mean, it depends how much you're reading to head to head. You know, you know, different managers, different players, different times of the season. I'm not sure they're, they're motivated enough at the moment, West Ham, to, to go and win. The worrying thing for me, you mentioned Leicester being favourites. They've won one in ten at home, drawn three. I mean, it's just terrible form for a team who are supposedly desperate to stay up. Um, like I said, I'd take the draw, but I'd probably swerve the outrights if, if I if I could, because I'm just not sure. I yeah. just don't think there'll be many goals in this, Natalie. You know, I think three goals in nine at home. Mm -hmm. It's five hours and 15 minutes since Leicester fans scored, see, saw a goal at their home stadium, which is crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and West Ham haven't been scoring loads of goals, three and six away from home. I think in the reverse fixture, when they beat them um, at Upton Park, they had two shots on goal, West Ham, and scored them both. So it, it just seems to be a pretty low-scoring game and I think um, I think maybe maybe West Ham will, will be happy with the draw as well just as the season peters out. Mm. Yeah well looking uh, looking at the both teams to score market uh, the both teams to score yes as the lower odds 1.7 there but could we maybe could this just be sort of like a one goal decider or even sort of a nil nil? Yeah I think so I mean, I, I'd probably play the no to be honest yeah. with you I mean the, 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 like I say I mean it's funny because you know, I kind of, when, I, when I think of Leicester, I think, oh, they might get goals. My first instinct in this game, before I started writing any notes, was, oh, I could see Leicester scoring against West Ham. And then you look at their form and their, their inability to score. And, you know, Sam Allardyce will go there and he'll set up strong. He won't go, you know, attacking, cr go crazy. They're not scoring many goals. So there's nothing on the stats to really suggest that they, there should be goals in this game. So I'd play no on the both teams to score. So what are your predictions then here, Lee, uh, for the match? Well, I wanted to play the unders and the goals and... Um, I looked at under 2.5, and I think it's a fair enough price, but I looked at the under 1.5, and it's a, I think that's a big price. It's, you're looking at 4.0, 3 to 1. I think that's, a, that's a, a very generous price for two teams who haven't been scoring many goals. Leicester cannot lose this game, remember. They lose this game. I think people are going to say that. I think they're down anyway, by the way, but I think people <laughs> will literally write them off. So I think they cannot lose it. And the, when a team can't, can't lose a game, and they become very nervous. So I think it's going to be a pretty tight match. Maybe a winner, a one-goal winner either way, or maybe, as you mentioned, a nil-nil. But mm -hmm. under 1.5 goals at 4.0, 3-1 to one for me. All right, wonderful. The end of 1.5 goals here. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure.